peace. But the age of Ultron was only beginning. Fascinating. <laughs> Bro, no matter how many times I see that, it never gets old. Vision as Ultron is one of the most amazing things ever. This man is an absolute savage. Holy. Imagine if when Thanos pulled up as a part of Avengers Infinity War to take the Mind Stone from Vision. Vision just sliced him apart and killed his ass on the spot. All right, so here's the thing, guys. The Marvel Future Fight team, they're trolling us like crazy. Today, they actually dropped sneak peek number six for the February update, letting us know that we're getting tier three Ultron to go along with King Thanos. We're getting a brand new uniform for Ultron and we're also getting a tier three for him. And this is amazing because I know a lot of us, myself included, got Ultron to level 70, possibly even gear 25. So it would have been really, really, really annoying if they didn't actually give him a tier three or a new uniform in this update so thank goodness that they're actually going to give ultron something in a couple of days so it says right here what if the avengers were unable to defeat the ultimate ai infinity ultron inspired by marvel studios what if extends his reach to the v785 update so even after this right brand new uniforms for thanos and ultron along with a tier 3 we still have the March update coming, I would say, in about two weeks. So maybe that's why they stretched out the whole Echo update thing for a week. Hey, I'm going to have some fun with Ultron. Hopefully, he's as broken as he was in the What If series. Destroying all of the Avengers. Basically wiping out the multiverse. Fighting the Watcher. Like, it's just crazy. Just to see him one-shot Thanos, it's just like really it's just crazy man so over here on twitter this is what they said and then over here on the forums it says greetings agents this is cm fragment of marvel future fight and then they're basically talking the same kind of you know lingo but it says right here check out the new look for this multiversal threat inspired by marvel studios what if and the details are going to be coming tuesday morning and then this is going to drop as a rolling patch Tuesday afternoon, night, depending on where you're at, it's gonna probably land around 11 p.m. EST and around 9 p.m. PST. So, should be interesting to see what they give to Ultron because right now he's down extra bad, boys. It would be nice to see this man at the top of the game for the first time in the history of Marvel Future Fight because Ultron has never been a top tier character. Even when I started playing this game almost seven years ago, he was one of the first characters I built. I built him, Giant Man, and Vision. It's nice to see that Vision is now a working character and he can actually do PvP and PvE. Not the highest level, but it will be nice to see Ultron at the very, very tippity top, especially since he's getting his strongest version to date. I've seen some people asking whether or not Ultron is going to get this uniform or if the uniform is going to go to Vision or it's going to be a whole new character altogether. There will be no reason for them to give it to anybody but Ultron. And honestly, bringing in Infinity Ultron as a standalone character would just be asinine. It would just be stupid if you ask me. I know some of you guys are probably, I guess, doubting the validity of the fact that I said he's getting a tier three. So let me show you guys really quickly where the tier three is at. So... First thing I gotta say, boys, they're bringing back the OG Marvel Future Fight music. It's loud as hell. However, when you get to this portion of the sneak peek, all you have to do is look to your right and you see this glass breaking, but then you see these four slashes, right? It makes no sense for the glass to break in this kind of pattern because if you take a look when Ultron comes up, he didn't do anything extra to create these little cracks here all of the cracks for the rest of the video looks very similar to how a glass would break however these four slashes coming out of nowhere just doesn't make sense to me right so based on that i'm guessing that this slash going straight across 
is the top of the T and this is going to be the T and then these three slashes are to signify that he's going to be getting a tier three because nowhere else in this video does he say that he's going to be getting a tier three but it doesn't make sense why these four slashes are here they're not anywhere else in the video. I, mean, I guess you could say these, nah, these just stand out way more. I, I could be reaching, I could be reaching, okay? But it looks as though Ultron is gonna be getting a tier three. It would be stupid for them to not only give us Echo, not give us an Awakened skill or a tier three for her, and then to give us a uniform for Ultron, and then not give us a tier three or an Awakened skill for Ultron. That's just kind of silly to me. Nobody liked it when they did it for Baron Zemo or Black Cat, so I hope they're not going to repeat that because, let's be honest, giving us the strongest version of Ultron to date and then relegating him to just being Shadowland and, what, World Boss Ultimate is just kind of stupid to me. That's just my personal opinion. So I'm saying this is the top of the T, this is the T, then these three slashes or three claw marks or three scratches, whatever you want to call them. That signifies that Ultron is getting tier three. Come for me in the comments, but that's what I'm saying. I personally think it's long overdue and I would love to see him get some massive improvements like damage accumulation, definitely a heal. Ultron actually has like what? I think three or four iframes from the last time he got a rework. Like his third skill has an iframe, his second skill has an iframe, and then his fifth skill has an iframe before he summons and then he has a guard hit. And then besides that, I would say they should possibly keep his um his four star passive well at least keep the effects from the four star passive but they should add something else to it maybe like a passive heal because Ultron can kind of replicate and heal himself and that kind of stuff so yeah he should have some type of built-in healing but I really don't want it to lose the immunity to burn bleed and poison I think it's actually kind of cool he's a machine so he shouldn't bleed right and he should be immune to burn and poison again that's just my take on it. But if they remove this for something way better, I'm here for it, okay? Let me know what you guys think they should give to Ultron in the comments. I'm definitely gonna tell you guys that you probably should not do what I'm gonna do right here because, again, there's not 100%. Holy shit, bro. The last one was one, but 31 before that is crazy. I'm definitely gonna tell you guys don't do what I'm doing for the simple fact that, hey, I don't know with 100% certainty that he's going to be getting a tier three, but from the looks of the trailer, it looks like he might be getting one. But don't do this. I'm only doing this because I have a lot of materials and if he does get a tier three, then I'm gonna tier three him no matter what. And then I can show you guys whether or not he's good. But at the end of the day, it's up to you guys. If you want to actually go ahead and work on Ultron, just don't cry if he gets nothing. Or worse, he doesn't live up to your expectations because for all we know, he could end up being a PvP character and maybe you're not a PvP player. So that might not be beneficial to you. Feel me? So that's my thoughts on it. I have him at level 70, gear 25, but we've seen them do this like a couple times before, Baron Zemo and Black Cat, both characters that I got to level 70 in anticipation for them to get a tier three or a transcendent skill. And then look, look at them now. Oh, I got him to level 70, didn't get nothing. So I left his gears where they are. Black Cat, I got to level 70 gear 25 and look at her now. Thank goodness she's at least good for a couple different game modes. So at least I can get some use out of her. And one of those game modes, I guess having the first two gears leveled up actually matters a little bit for um, Dispatch. But yeah, guys, don't make the mistake of um, investing all of your resources into Ultron because you never know if they're actually going to make him good for the things that you want him to be good for. That's why I'm gonna wrap it up, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Leave me your thoughts in the comments. I'm so happy I got all of Ultron's uniforms to Mythic recently. Um, I wonder if they're gonna keep this. They might actually just give him extra damage to all type and damage reduction from all type because if you take a look at Ultron's previous uniforms, one of them actually gives him 10% extra damage to combat types. He takes 10% less damage from combat types and then this one right here, 10% damage to speed, 10% less damage from speed. And then this one is 10% to blast. I think this was actually a really cool idea way, way back in the day. This uniform, I believe, was for gold. I can't remember if I ever bought this one for crystals. I know I got these two for gold, but I think I got this one when it first came out because I think it looks really, really cool. Ultron Prime. 
and then Mark 1 and Mark 2. That's okay. I really like this one though because it looks like all goofy and decrepit. Imagine getting <laughs> getting beaten by a half beaten robot. It's just kind of cool. But I, I guess they could do like 30% extra damage to all types and then 30% less damage to all types. Then, well, it could be 10 of each, but whatever. It's fine. You guys let me know what you think of Ultron getting his Infinity Ultron uniform. I'm excited. I can't wait to see it. Hopefully it's a 1050 uniform, but I kind of want it to be really, 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 really strong. So maybe they'll sell it for 1500 like Thanos. I don't know. But guys, make sure you have at least, at least 2000, what is it? 2550 crystals ready because Thanos is not going to be cheap and Ultron just might be expensive as well, but hopefully it's 1050. I'll catch you guys in the next one. I'm happy I don't have anything on him, so I won't have to take anything off. I can just jump in, test him out, and have a lot of fun. I can't wait, man. Can't believe they actually trolled us into thinking we were not getting a uniform for Infinity Ultron.